Calling all climate buffs, let's review the United States and global climate reports for this past winter season from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The December 2017 through February 2018 average temperature across the global land and ocean surface was the fifth warmest since global records began back in 1880. If we only look at the land surface temperature, this past winter was the seventh warmest in the 1880 to 2018 record. La Nina conditions were present across the tropical Pacific Ocean during this past three month period. The globally averaged ocean surface temperature was about one degree Fahrenheit above the 20th century average. Can you spot the typical signature of La Nina conditions in this real-time NOAA satellite dataset of sea surface temperature anomalies from this winter? Blue colors indicate cooler than normal water, while red indicates warmer than normal water. This pattern is totally consistent with La Nina conditions in the eastern Pacific Ocean. The United States was warmer and drier than normal over the winter months, resulting in much lower than usual snowpack for most of the western United States mountain ranges. California had its second driest winter on record right after a dry fall. This prolonged period of warm and dry conditions combined with windy weather to fuel the largest wildfire in California's modern recorded history. The Thomas Fire broke out in Ventura County in Southern California on December 4th and continued blazing on into the new year. By the time it was contained on January 20th, it had burned nearly 300,000 acres. The Thomas Fire also damaged or destroyed over 1,300 structures and caused the evacuation of over 100,000 people. But thankfully, only two deaths were directly attributed to the blaze. However, Heavy rains arrived shortly after the fire and on January 9th triggered debris flows in burn scar areas, causing flash floods that destroyed 166 structures and homes and claimed 21 lives in neighboring Santa Barbara County. Wildfires and flash floods of this past winter serve as a stark reminder that we all need to be prepared for hazardous weather wherever we live year round. Having a disaster readiness plan for your family including collecting phone numbers and setting important waypoints for meetups with other family members in the event of an emergency is just one great way to start being more prepared today. And that, my wonderful climate enthusiasts, is your Winter 2017 through 2018 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video. And until next time, Stay prepared and weather ready, y'all.